Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another fourth stimulus unemployment update, although definitely more stimulus today. Because in today's update is I want to pretty much just try to take a little bit of a revisit back now to be talking about what's been going on exactly in the world of the fourth stimulus checks. Because we've talked a lot about the unemployment side, we've talked a lot about the stimulus package collectively, but I do know is that it's been a little bit of a while since we've talked about the fourth stimulus checks. Now, the big thing that's really been going on is, is that when it comes to just the world of the checks side of different things, there are essentially two sides, or certainly two main sides, because there's technically many things that are going on when it comes to the world of fourth stimulus checks. The first is, is that there's definitely a group that is now advocating. It's very subtle, so that's probably why you have not heard as much news about it, but there's definitely some level of, um, people or certainly groups that are now advocating trying to do some kind of fourth stimulus check, but specifically federal checks. So this is probably the part that many of us, you know, would probably relate the most to because this is the one that applies to like the first, second, and third stimulus checks. But on the side, on the other hand, is, is that there are actually also even more people, more groups, and more programs, and more proposals, including one that we're going to talk about today, um, that are really trying to advocate for very, very specific specific targeted checks. So these are checks that can essentially come in ways where they will either apply to like a particular group of people, a particular state, a particular region, or just people of a particular circumstance. For example, we've recently just got news that there is now a brand new fourth stimulus check proposal that is hoping to try to do and create a 1,000, so another round of $1,400 stimulus checks now to social security recipients. So if you happen to be on social security, then this is obviously really, really great news because it means that they're at least finally trying to take action to give social security some voice. And if you happen to not be on social security, I'm not on social security, then maybe we can at least try to take pleasure to know is, is that many of the people that do really need it are people that are on social security. So maybe we can feel a little bit happy in the sense that there's at least a group of people and specifically millions because I'm pretty sure that when it comes to social security, this is something that applies to I believe over 20, 30, 40 plus million of people that are inside of our country and even more targeted because many of these people happen to be people that are generally in the much either older, retired or dis disability demographic. So these are people that I think have a particularly need for it. So hopefully we can at least take some level of meaning to just know is that there's at least other fellow Americans that are getting help out there. But beyond this is, is that we do have a lot of other stuff that, to talk about when it comes to just fourth stimulus checks. So hopefully maybe one of these things will become applicable. So with that being said, we're going to get right to it. But as always, maybe real fast before we begin, consider smashing the like button in light of at least some good news that's now finally starting to come with checks. Um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts, or honestly just really anything. Always to say hi to new and familiar faces. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So the story to what's been going on right now, which there are several stories that we're going to run through, but the first one that we're going to start, which is the one that we just mentioned, is that essentially right now there is a brand new proposal that is pretty much being created by the Senior Citizens League. So they are pretty much a big organization that represents helps for a lot of, as the title suggests, senior citizens. And what they're really hoping to do is, is that they pretty much just want to try to propose, or they actually already have the proposal going on. And and they're trying to essentially present it to Congress in order to try to advocate to see if they can potentially gain support in order to do another round of $1,400 stimulus checks. I think that the support for this is even more true because first off is that if you guys remember from most of last year, there were a lot of talks about trying to do some kind of boost for Social Security. So whether this was like the $200 boost or just the cost of living adjustment because of the 
inflation situation that's going on. So the positive news is, is that what they're hoping to do now is, is that sadly, even though a lot of those programs last year did not end up going through, and it's like a lot of other programs, there were a lot of programs, things such as like hazard pay, which never went through, um, social security, of course, just struggled as we just mentioned. So the maybe more positive or encouraging thing to look forward to is, is that there's now a level of voice to it. And there's definitely people trying to advocate and an actual proposal that's now being presented in order to try to do another round of stimulus checks to people that are in that particular circle. Now, the second thing really to maybe talk about is, is that this week, in spe specifically this week, so if you are watching this on release date, technically the week is about to end, so October, Friday, October 15th, 2021, um, there is now going to be another round of stimulus checks that is actually going to be coming, and this is an approved program, uh, but there's essentially another round of stimulus checks that will now be starting to roll over for anyone that happens to have a child, specifically because of the child tax credit. So as some of you guys know is, is that with the child tax credit, if you happen to be in a family for every single child, depending on the age of your child, uh, you guys will be able to get stimulus checks every single month. And the new wave of payments, so for the new for this particular month, is hoping to come out by the end of this week. Or if you are watching this afterwards, I'd probably give maybe just a couple of days to kind of settle into the bank account. But the big idea is that according to the IRS, according to announcements, it's um it's coming with the assumption everything's on schedule. And so far it has been. That is the really, really positive news. So hopefully we can at least expect to see more checks come out for those people um, in the next couple of days. Or maybe it's already in your bank account by then. Feel free to comment if that applies um, to be the case. Now, another big thing to notice is that California, as some of you guys know, is also doing their own individual Golden State stimulus check. They So what the story to what's been going on there is, is that in California, they created a Golden State stimulus check for $600. They expanded the eligibility, and then I believe they decided to do another round of the $600 Golden State stimulus check. I believe that according to a lot of, now I'm not in California, but just according to a lot of word of mouth articles and all that, supposedly many people say that today or by the end of this week is pretty much going to be the last time that you can try to claim your California stimulus check if you have not received it yet. Now, if you don't claim it now, I believe it is still very possible to get it, but you guys might just potentially run through some kind of delay into the future. But the big idea in terms of how you're specifically going to do that, you're pretty much going to have to either go through your tax software, tax accountant, or just whatever service program or person that you normally use for your taxes, and just pretty much to just submit information there. You may even be able to do it specifically on your own on the IRS website, but truth be told, admittedly, since I'm not in California, I think that you'll probably have to go through like a, a tax account or just someone else that actually is physically in California that I think will probably know a lot better. But that's pretty much what the general idea is that's being spread around right now. Now, when it comes to the world of just federal checks, so if we're talking about just global checks that are supposed to be applying to basically every, basically just the majority of the people here, I think, that are watching. So the story with that right now is that admittedly the truth be told is, is that maybe the hard news to share is that there isn't really as much talk. There is some, you know, there is some, but there hasn't been as much talk about federal checks compared to the amount of talks about specific focus checks. So as just mentioned, like social security, state checks, programs, child tax credit, just checks to very particular demographics. Um, how However, we do know is, is that the petition that's been going on is still very much going on. They are trying to grow it to about 3 million signatures. They're very close right now. In fact, there is a very probable chance that by the time you're watching this, if you're watching this into the future, we might have already passed the 3 million people signature mark. And what's going to happen now is, is that they're, when that happens is, is that they're going to essentially try to take this and present it to Congress and then try to see what Congress ends up ultimately deciding to say. 
This is even more true actually right now, because as you guys kind of know from a lot of the other updates that we've already made, which once again, I'll put some at the end screen as well if you guys need a little bit of, you know, just catch up to do. But the big thing to really know it is, is that because they are now making a lot of modifications, the hope is, is that if enough people can try to propose the programs that they actually do want to physically want, especially because now the fourth stimulus package is expected to undergo a lot of changes, maybe they could potentially try to insert something in or certainly insert more programs that are maybe more relatable, whether this is that they want to insert into this particular big package or even if they want to do it through a standalone bill like what's going on now for the fourth stimulus proposal for social security. But beyond that is, is really the big idea is, is that we do actually also interestingly have a lot of industry specific checks. So basically just stimulus checks that apply to people that work or worked in particular industries such as like education. There's a, there's several industries that this applies to. So maybe I'll have to make a video about that on another day because it's it can be pretty long considering the fact that we live in a country where there's like tons and tons of industries that are out there. So to kind of look for every single check that applies to a particular industry, maybe we'll have to talk about that in a future video, maybe comment if that is something of interest. But overall, the big ideas I think is that based off of a lot of the numbers that we shared, it's pretty relatively known I think is that having more stimulus checks could be a massive life changer for many. But beyond this is that's what I really just wanted to share in today's update to maybe finally take a little bit of visit to talk about the fourth stimulus checks. If you guys found that relatively insightful, maybe consider smashing the like button if you guys haven't done so. Of course, you guys can decide if you guys want to consider subscribing and hitting the bell for similar videos. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts, or predictions about honestly just really anything. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching this on release date, have a great, great, incredible weekend and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.